We just unboxed our command wire hanging or light hanging hooks, and I just noticed this. We get 40 total hooks, but like seriously, command, you couldn't have put an extra one in the middle to give us 42. You get 48 of the command strips themselves, so I guess you can make a mistake or if you wanted to reuse one. So what we do is the red part here goes to the back of the command hook here, um, and then the black side goes against your wall. So I'm gonna install a few of these or set these up and get them ready to apply them. I was hoping to just peel off this whole row and stick this on, but you notice that they don't line up exactly, so you do have to do them one at a time. First thing we do is peel off the command sticker. Then we take our hook and push it onto the sticky part. That one's a little crooked, but it'll be okay. So you're supposed to just hold this now for 30 seconds and then not use it for an hour. Before we go much further, if you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews for you. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in reviewing as seen on TV items. Every once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that aligns with something that you're looking for online, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, and Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Now, let's get right back to putting up these command hooks and hanging some lights. In the past, I would have just hung hooks up here, but I recently had all this stuff wrapped in metal and soffited and such. So I'm gonna put these command hooks just right up in here. Now the directions tell us that first, we're supposed to clean the area with rubbing alcohol, not a household cleaner, and then we can apply it, hold for 30 seconds and wait an hour. So I'm just gonna start that process now. I've been installing these every 16 inches and that's, I don't have any really rhyme or reason to that. Just, I figured I would start it out, but just peel off the sticker and I'm holding it there for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna move on to the next one. If I feel that I'm gonna need some more in the middle, I can put them at the eight inch mark just to um, tie up the extra loose cord. I am a little sad that on every single one, you're gonna see these little tabs that stick out the side, but we'll see how it looks from down on the ground. All right, so here is our hook installed. We are gonna be putting in our light. As you see, I just clipped the wire on there. Sometimes I'm able to get all three wires other times, like you see now, I'm only able to get two. I am a little worried about these clips because as I'm installing them, I see the clips bending. So that makes me wonder if these will hold over time. You can see that I've tied two of the hooks right here on either side of the corner. Therefore, it could hold it really, really tight and strong. As you go down the line here, you notice that there's a little sag. Well, I didn't quite get it 16 inches on center. I'm a little worried. If I need to put one in there, I'm gonna end up doing that later, but we'll see how it goes. I would say in a typical installation, I would be using white lights instead of green. I'm just using green here so you can see them clipping into the command strip hooks. In addition to running those twinkle lights, I also put a string of bulbs that are glass, so they're a lot heavier because I wanted to see how the command hooks would react to the heavier weight. That being said, I wish I would have thought about this ahead of time because this plug does not fit into that outlet from the other cord, so I'll just have to figure a way to plug that one in as well. So, tell me, have you ever used these hooks to hang up lights before? Let me know your experience down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. As you can see here, the command hook is sort of pulling away, or at least the hook part is, so it makes me think that a whole lot of weight doesn't necessarily work, or at least the wire pulling against it, so that concerns me that it might break, or at least become weak. I've had both sets of lights up in my house holding strong. I actually really like how the command hooks have been holding them up there. What I'm gonna do now, or tomorrow, is I'm actually gonna take these down and put up the strand that'll be up there permanently, but they do hold pretty strong. So I've had this clip right here with the light hanging on it for well over a month because I wanted to see the strength of the clip. And as you can see, the clip is definitely peeling forward. It has not broken off. That being said, other clips that I have have broken off and so I've just had to replace them, but I have been impressed with how this has not broken off with that excess weight on it. So we had to replace a few of the command hooks to run the new strand of lights, but it was only like two or three, so that's pretty cool. And I really like the versatility this gives me now to have extra lighting here on the front of the house and, in my opinion, 
it looks pretty awesome. In this video, we were looking at command decorating clips. So what did I think of it? Well, first things first, I really love the ease of use that these products have. It's really just clean off the area, let it dry, peel off the sticker back and put it on. You know what? I should also say they proved to be really, really tough hooks. I mean, I had one strand of lights just hanging off of one hook and although it bent over a period of time of about a month, it did not break off. And I was really impressed with that. As I was taking the old light strands off and putting on new ones, I did have a few casualties where some of the clips broke off, but I was able to just pull that strip, pull off the command strip, clean it up again, and put on a new one and just move on. They held up in wind and they held up in strong rain. And you know what? I really like the way that I can now decorate the front of my house with lights and not have to put holes in the metalwork. That was my review of the command decorating clips. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for you. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Although the primary focus of this review has been putting these hooks on the outside, it should be noted that you can use them on windows, you can use them on plastic, you can use them on wood, both inside and outside. They provide that same strong hold and quick, easy removal if needed. All right, so to remove these, you just take this little extra tab that's there and you pull it straight. You don't pull it up, you pull it straight, and what it's doing now is it slowly released the adhesive behind it, and you're done. No damage. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review. And on the topic of lights, you may have noticed that I love outdoor lights, and I reviewed quite a few. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to link up some of my light reviews right up here in a playlist, and I would love it if you would click on this playlist. And when you do... By the magic of the internet, I'm going to join you right here. So go ahead, click it. It's safe. I promise.